So, welcome back to some Minecraft. Hello, hello, hello. And I've just been mostly terraforming the swamp for quite some time. <laughs> um, it's taken me quite a little while, and I'm starting to integrate some mossy cobblestone and some soul soil uh, into the sort of colour palette going on here. Um, the main reason for that is because I really want to do some like little never wart patches. Uh, I don't know if you can plant never wart in soul soil, but I'll be able to mix in some soul sand uh, to make that a little bit easier. Uh, as you can see, we have candles. Really, really excited to start using these. I made as many as I could, uh, which isn't actually that much. Um, I guess, well, I guess it is quite a bit, but... Like, not as many as I would have liked. I kind of feel like the the recipe for candles should be the same as torches. So you should get like four um, for each candle that you make. I think it's a little bit expensive at the moment. Um, especially if you're like a really casual player and you don't have like an automatic bee farm or anything. Um, like all the realms that I'm on, I'm now going to have to start like setting up bee farms everywhere <laughs> to get it sorted out. Uh, which is fine. It's just going to take a little bit of time. Um, and also, like, string can be a real pain in the ass to get if you don't have a spider farm. Like a spider spawner. Which, surprise, surprise, I also don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got a couple of things to take a look at, but I'm going to go to sleep real quick. So, um, not relevant, I guess, but it was recently the Euro... Oh. It was recently the Euro finale, and while I was watching it, I was doing a shit ton of building. Um, it's probably going to be like a week since that happened by the time this goes out. Um, but I've been doing a lot of stuff over here at the swamp. It's been pretty much non-stop uh, terraforming, working on putting down little custom mushrooms. Um, I'm pretty certain we mapped out these houses in the last episode. I feel like I mapped them out. Um, maybe I didn't, maybe I did, I don't know. But I've, start, I've done all the roofs, all the roofs are done, um, I just now need to do the interiors of them and the walls. We've got this little makeshift walkway going sort of like up there and round and round here. All sorts of stuff going on. Um, practicing doing these custom mushrooms has been pretty fun. Uh, this one's definitely my favourite just for like how clean looking it is I guess. Like it's all kind of symmetrical, it's kind of like the perfect half kind of sphere um which i really struggle with making spheres in minecraft so doing this was like completely improvised and i'm really happy with how it turned out um and i'm hoping to replicate those uh, and then this one's a little bit wider a little bit wonkier um but i like the sort of um the difference between the two and making all the mushrooms kind of look a little bit uh, different. So these are just my remakes of like the default mushrooms basically to make them just look a little bit better. Um, these aren't going to be what is going to be on Zeri's. Zeri's mushrooms are going to be huge, huge and made out of like quartz and stem and white wool and loads of different white textured blocks. Um, it's going to be insane. But today I wanted to, oh also this is going to be like a chapel. I haven't fully decided what it's going to be for, like what they're going to actually be like worshipping in there, but I wanted to do a chapel. <laughs> so I'm doing a chapel. Um, I've also been mixing in azaleas, which is adding in like this really awesome texture, like just around the place. It kind of looks like the top of a melon, um, but also not really. It kind of just also looks like the moss. And then, like, the flowering azaleas also look really, really cool mixed in with the moss. Um, what I want to... Oh. <laughs> what I want to check real quick is what these look like next to grass. Okay, they're quite bright in comparison. So I think maybe mixing these in with moss is going to be a lot better. Um, but yeah, I brought a bunch of stuff over so that I could do some terraforming. Obviously, we've brought the candles over. I wanted to sort of talk about the candles and talk about where I'm going to be using them. I made a mixture of normal default candles and white candles because they're like my two favourites. I like sort of traditional looking medieval candles. The dyed candles are a little bit more fantasy I guess. Um, 
And I will probably use them, just not as much. They'll be in sort of like themed areas. Um, but I wanted to do some more building specifically in this episode. I wanted to get some more of these houses done. Um, I'm just looking. We're gonna need to make a new chest. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, nope, we have chests. So let's go ahead and whack these in. So, and also for anybody who hasn't checked them out, the this is these this is what this is what it looks like. So they're the default candles, and these are the white candles. Unfortunately, you can't put them in the same sort of like section. So I can't mix and match, which is a genuine shame. I think that would look phenomenal. Um, but I can kind of cope with just using those. I don't really like how candles look when they're not lit. So it seems a little bit pointless to have candles when they're not uh, alight. But I think candles look amazing. They look so cool. The only issue that I have is that this takes forever to fade. <laughs> and... As we saw before, if you're kind of not in the area, it takes a moment for candles to sort of flicker on. Um, but overall, they're really, really cool. They're, they are really awesome. Um, and then just like, they're a little bit expensive. A little bit expensive. Okay. Let me drop off my stuff, because I keep like looking in chests and not doing it. So I'm just going to drop everything off here. I'm going to do some more terraforming off camera, because that's been going surprisingly quite well. And we're just going to grab a whole heap of wood. And we're going to crack on with these coven houses in this episode. So these houses are going to be... I wanted to go for like a, a sort of dorm kind of style. They're going to be a bunch of witches, all kind of different levels. Uh, there might even be like a shop. I'm, I'm thinking this might be a good shop. But with the area that I'm in, I've kind of decided that I want to have some more sort of like tiny little colonies like this set up around this island because it feels like a little bit of a waste to only use this amount of space. Um, I've also, I mentioned that I wanted to do like massive potions, which I went off and got a, oh, witch, a up. <laughs> um, but I, I went off and got a butt ton, like a, a massive, massive amount of uh, grey dye, which is what I'm going to need for it. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to finally cracking some of those up. That will probably be done in the next episode. Um, so if you're interested in that, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, it'll be coming pretty soon. Uh, really, really excited to get that on the go. I just kind of like, I need to get some photos of the ones that I've already built and make sure that I've got the materials. I need to go off and get like some more sand, for example. Um, and just generally prepare for it a little bit more, because I feel like I don't really have the right stuff for it at the moment. Um, but yeah, I want to, I think, maybe turn this into a shop. Like, maybe we should have, like, a little potion shop. But at the same time, they're not really meant to be a sort of capitalistic little settlement. Um, they're meant to be more, like self-productive and just kind of like fend for themselves and produce stuff for themselves and that's it so i'm a little bit torn between whether to or not but i'm just i'm not going to be doing any of the interiors um on camera anyway so there's no like worries about that i need to go get some barrels that's something that i really wanted to incorporate into this build also my little spit we love that we love to see it. Took me forever to figure out um, what I was actually doing there. Boom, there's some barrels. But yeah, I like I I've been through like three different versions, and that's the one that I'm settling on because I wanted the smoke. <laughs> I was like, I really want some smoke popping out of there to add a little bit of character to the place. Boom. Um, but yeah, I've had a very stressful day, to be honest, and. I really wanted to sit down and just kind of chill out on Minecraft. Um, I was going to go record some other stuff, but I think I'm just going to do Minecraft for today. Because like I said, today has been in insanely stressful and I just kind of want to like chill out a little bit and do some building. Um, and I like doing building on camera. I enjoy doing building on camera. Um, I don't, I'm just completely improvising these buildings to just have like a general kind of style to them, I guess. 
Like, I don't want them to all look the same, but I don't want them to all be, like, super unique and super detailed. They kind of have to look like um, they've been not necessarily conjured with magic, but kind of, like, built with magic. Um, maybe, like, what would be the word? Um, well, I don't... I, they're not transmuted. What is it when people... Like, telekinesis. Like, I imagine that the witches would kind of use telekinesis to build their witch huts because they don't have, like, the physicality to do it themselves. Um... I mean, they could use, like, strength potions, I guess. But I like the concept of them sort of, like, using their powers to kind of put these huts together. So, in theory, the huts would be fairly simplistic. You know, they're not going to be super over the top with, like, ornate designs and, you know, really dramatic and shit. Like, I, mean, I don't know, they might be, depending on sort of, like, your lore and stuff. Um, but for my lore, definitely not. I want it to go a little bit more of a simplistic vibe. So we're going to put that there, and I'm going to have that going across with a little thing there. Oh, we don't want that there. And then I'm just going to make some doors, bish, bash, bosh, and that's this one done. Boom. I don't know why I tested to see whether the doors worked. Of course they work. <laughs> they are just regular doors. Um, and then what I've started doing is round about these areas here, I put like a little fence underneath. Uh, so there will probably be one like there. I think I might put... Oh, I can't put one there, that's fine. But there would be one... Oh. Oh, we are missing some, some stairs. That is not good. Boom. A butt ton of stairs, all the booms. Um, they've just released some experimental snapshot stuff, which is kind of interesting. It's not something that I'm going to be applying to my playthrough of the game, because, um, I just don't really like adding in experimental stuff. I'd rather just sort of wait the extra couple of months until the update officially releases. I know it's probably not going to release until December, um, because I'm sure that they'll do like a whole update for Christmas kind of thing, like, update for the holidays, um, but I'm kind of fine with waiting. As soon as the new update does come out for the new generation and stuff, we're going to be doing a little bit of a soft, sort of like, a soft restart in a way, um, because I'm going to have to go quite far away. So, I was thinking about doing like a little bit of a soft restart, and doing like a little bit of, maybe like a town transformation, or a cave town, or something like that. Um, and sort of like dropping back and forth between like the new stuff and the old stuff but I, I don't like because I don't know when it's going to drop it's a little bit difficult to say what exactly I'm going to be doing and when I'm going to be doing it um, but I am super excited to do it regardless um, and I know roughly where I'm going to go like to do it which is always good planning in advance <laughs> planning in advance for once in my life um, but yeah, I, I don't know, I've been really enjoying Minecraft lately, I'm just like, I'm getting immersed in the lore of like, this world that I'm creating and having everything linked together and stuff, it's just really, really cool. And lately I just, I get like a real satisfaction from Minecraft, which I kind of always have, that's why I play it, but, <laughs> like lately it's been very, very different and... I don't know, it's it's helped, it's kind of like therapy in a way, like I can just come on here, I can chill out, I've got like full control over everything that I do, um, and it's just, I don't know, it's quite nice. This has turned into why Minecraft is the best game to be released. <laughs> Literally the best game ever, and anybody that argues probably hasn't played it, or likes Call of Duty. Even though I also like Call of Duty. <laughs> that's definitely not therapeutic. So that's two of our coven houses down. I apologise if, like, the format of this video isn't exactly, like, the greatest. The sort of, like, block block by block sort of, like, janky tutorial with me just sort of rambling on about something irrelevant. Um, rather than talking about the builds. But I feel like they're pretty straightforward. I'm kind of just more so doing this so that, like, if you do enjoy this style and you do kind of want to redo it yourself because it's quite simple, um, 
then these are loads of little examples and it kind of speaks for itself. I sort of don't need to go into too much detail about it. Um, the new Zombies map comes out tomorrow. I'm recording this on Wednesday, the 14th, the 15th, or something. Wednesday the something, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I couldn't tell you Wednesday the what, but the new Zombies map comes out for COD. And... I really, really wish that I was like a COD YouTuber, because I love COD Zombies, but I could never ever create like content for it, because I'm just, I don't think I'm good at it, or like, my quality when I play COD and COD Zombies depends on like who I'm playing with, so if I'm playing with people who I know are not as good as me, I usually deliberately do a little bit better, like my mindset is <laughs> a lot different, whereas if I'm playing with somebody that is better than me, I feel like there's a lot of pressure. So, it's a, it's sort of like a mixed bag, and that deters me from playing COD, because I don't think I could do, like, solo videos. I feel like that would be a little bit boring. Um, but yeah, my point is that the COD Zombies uh, map releases tomorrow, and I am incredibly excited for it. I'm probably going to be spending the majority of the day playing it, as well as making a... I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but... I need to make a bee farm on one of the other servers that I'm in. Um, and I'm probably going to do some of that tomorrow if I don't do it today. It's probably going to take me a little bit of a, a while to get a decent one up and running. So maybe both today and tomorrow. I've also been playing a lot of FIFA, which is really, really weird because I have had little interest in football up until this point in my life. And I don't know if it was the UEFA, is it UEFA? The, whatever it was, finals, I don't think it was, is it UEFA? The UEFA doesn't sound right. I feel like I've just made that up. What's UEFA? Um, I don't know if it was that, or if it's just like my desperation to sort of like try new games lately. Um, but I've been really, really into playing FIFA, which is super weird. Super weird. I'm weirdly addicted to it, but I can t I can kind of tell in the back of my head it's only going to be a temporary sort of like hyper fixation. I can kind of tell that it's going to wear out after a certain point. So I'm just sort of waiting for that to happen. Which is kind of sad. <laughs> it's like you 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 got a you've got a sell by date FIFA. It's very soon. It's probably going to be like next month or as soon as this zombies map drops. I imagine my like attention is just going to go straight out the window. Okay, let's get a... I'm going to try and put, like, crafting benches in every single building on this world, because I just keep on making them left, right, and centre. Boom. That's a third house done. Uh, and now we've only got this one. I'm just... I'm not sure if I... Mm. Okay, no, I'm, I'm okay with this one. I was like, this one kind of feels a little bit lazy. I've sort of had, like, a little bit of identity crisis when it comes to building in this game, because I can build super, super detailed, but whenever I'm doing, like, a video or something, I notice that my builds are, like, quite simplistic. Um, because, like, part of me doesn't want to start doing something really detailed and then get bored, go off and do something, come back and then not know what I'm doing. Um, that's, like, a, an issue that I used to have a lot. Sort of, like, getting bored... <laughs> going off to find something else to do and then coming back and being like what the f what the what the, the hell did I do here like holy like wow <laughs> just trying my hardest to sort of like try and figure out what past me was up to and it is truly baffling sometimes what your mind can come up with in this game boom 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 and then final door, boom. That's it. That's all of the coven houses in this area completely done. Um, apart from obviously the interiors and I need to put those, I could put some of these little fences down now. I need to put these on the little cap sections. I think that that kind of brings it together a little bit more. I really, really like these corner pieces. And putting like these little supports underneath here, I think also look cool. But yeah, this is, like, this is such a simplistic style compared to what I usually do. 
Like, the dollar hide stuff is so different as well. I feel like I'm taking much more risks um, since not only 1.7 came out, but sort of like the build-up to 1.17 as well. I just... Everything kind of changed a little bit for me, and I was like, I need to up my game with Minecraft. <laughs> I need to up my game, goddammit. I'm not doing good enough. Give myself a little bit of a push. A little bit of a push. I don't know, getting this, uh, getting this terraforming out the way is massively helpful to me. Like, that's been my main concern. I've been trying to catch up on Sapnap uh, Pokemon streams. Because I really like what, uh, I guess listening, I really like listening to him play uh, Pokemon. That's like, extremely entertaining. <laughs> and I can get a lot of stuff done if I'm kind of like, if I have something on in the background. Time flies and I can just be sat here for like, two hours. Uh, just straight up building or mining or doing something while watching like a podcast or listening to a podcast slash stream or whatever. So, that's what I've been up to lately, while terraforming. It, I should have got it done a lot quicker, to be fair. I am a little bit disappointed in myself for still doing this goddamn terraforming. It's taking me so long. But, I am happy with how it's turning out. Uh, so, just a little bit of... Uh, a, little, a little bit of a recap of... The progress that we're making so far with this place, if I can find a little bit of the a little bit of the dirt, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna nerd pole up and we are gonna take a look at this area. I still haven't come up with a name for this place, but I'm really really happy with it. We're transforming if you don't know, I'm gonna I'm transforming the entire swamp into like a mossy biome. Um, I don't want it to really look like a swamp. I want it to look like a sort of swampy plains instead. Um, and I think it's turning out pretty good. I need to do some more moss over there and kind of like slowly fade the moss into the plains biome. Um, I also need to obviously take down the mushrooms and deal with like these outside areas, decide what I'm doing with them. Um, but I think everything's coming together pretty well. Uh, the church is going to be a definite landmark, 100%. Uh, I showed my friend what I was doing as well, and he said, I need to get cats. And I said, no, I need to get fish so that you can come on here and get cats for me. <laughs> so at some stage, we will have a shit ton of cats to deal with as well. I don't know, I'm just, I'm really enjoying doing like this little pocket settlement. Um, and I think as we're kind of flying around and exploring our world and doing world tours and recaps and stuff This is gonna be a really really awesome and unique place to sort of come by um, And you know, I put in like the custom ponds uh, There's like little puddles and stuff. We're gonna have the big massive potions set up I want to do a brewery kind of hub area. I haven't really decided where I want to do it but I'm kind of thinking like over that side or uh, maybe over there at a push, but more so over that side. I think that area is going to be really, really awesome to do something on. And we need to get some potion-related stuff on. So, that's been it for this episode. Thank you for joining me while I build some more coven houses. Almost took a, took a dive then, took a dip off of that nerd pole. Feel free to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode and me rambling for a bit. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Keep up to date. Feel free to go check out some other Minecraft videos or some State of Decay, whatever else is going out on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Minecraft. Bye bye